just as you thought the Quakes were not going to be making any more signings and that there's already an article talk about how the Quakes are not really interested in making any more signing this offseason, think again because the Quakes have just made another signing today and it's going to be a homegrown signing that we made, which means that unfortunately it is not going to be El Maestro's son, Benjamin Galando Jr. that is going to be announced to be coming to San Jose. Although... There's been so many reports that he is coming to the Quakes and even report that say that he's already followed the Quakes Snapchat page. It looks like that signing could be coming very, very soon. But for now, the Quakes have said that they actually signed a different player. And again, it is a homegrown player. And he's actually also going to be the youngest ever homegrown player that we have ever signed in our history even younger than Gilbert Fruntes that we signed I think last offseason when he was 15 years old and by the way this is also another 15 years old only about 200 days younger than when Fruntes signed with us but basically this guy's name is Kate Codwell uh, apparently from what I've read and actually I can just pull it up the article right now that the Quakes have announced. Uh, apparently, he signs with the Quakes in an age of 15 year and 102 days, which, again, that's about 200 days younger than when we signed Gilbert Funtes last season. And apparently, he actually joined the Quakes Academy just last season and that he actually plays for Ballistic United. Um... You know, Ballistic United is actually one of the team that the Quakes are are kind of partner with. And he actually leads the nation in 34 goals in 32 appearance with that club. I mean, that is some insane amount of number of goals. And oh, by the way, I forgot to mention he's actually a striker, which is why he's scoring so many goals. But to score 34 goals in 32 appearance, I mean, that's that's like Robert Lewandowski and Messi kind of number in terms of how many goals and appearance it is. That's like more than one goal per appearance. That is just quite insane. Um, the other thing that it also said is that he actually spent time with the Quakes on a part-time basis. He's actually from uh, Ceres, California, which is about 90 miles away where the Quakes are based in. Uh, he also scored three goals in eight appearance with the Quakes Academy under-17 team and also played with the under-19 team, even though he's only 15 years old. And he also earned a call-up by the U.S. under-16 national team. And he also was part of the under-17 team's and he actually scored all. He actually scored a goal when he was with the under-17 team and scored a goal against Chile. And basically, what this tells us is that he is a very talented player. And I know that I have already heard some people will say, "Well, what's the point of us keep signing these 15 years old and just?" Not really go out and look out for guys that we need now instead of the future. Well, yeah, in some way, we kind of do need to look to maybe get some other players out there that can be just be a solution for us now. But you also got to think about the future. I mean, you know, all these guys that we've been getting these last three years, guys like, like Jacob, Gilbert, Fruntes, and now C Cad Codwell, these guys could potentially be the future of this team and I know there are also some people will say well potentially they're going to to just be with our team in the youth level and that they're probably going to be playing their time in Reno before maybe actually going to go to a European team because the Quakes won't give them chances well that might be could be the case but again like I said with the way that we've been getting so many young talented with this team, something tells me those talented players that we're going to sign this year, you know, five years down the line, I guarantee you that we can always look back to, to what we did this year and what we did last year of signing all these young, talented guys. And maybe 
it was a great idea. Maybe those guys are going to be huge talent in MLS and that they're going to do very well in the league. But what I'm basically saying is that it's not a bad idea, the fact that we're spending some money. And we're not really spending a lot of money, too. I mean, getting these guys is not really going to cost us anything in the salary cap. And the fact that it also doesn't cost us in terms of an international spot, too, because he's a homegrown player. So there's no risk in terms of signing these player the only only thing that signing these player would get is just reward if they turns up to be be going to be developing and hit their potential five years down the line but either way guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash that subscribe button let me know in the comments below what do you think of of this signing and do you think that this will work out five years down the line do you think kate Cade Covell will become a excellent Quakes player down the line. But yeah, let me know in the comments below, and I hope to see you guys next time.